episode 70 of the Mark Pryor Road to the show. Sorry for the hiatus. I've been sick. Back now, hopefully back to regular uploads. This episode, we are playing the St. Louis Cardinals. Matthew Libertor, 3-0, 243 ERA. So it might be a bit of a tough matchup. We're 5-0 with a 153 ERA, 0.62 whip to start this season. The Cardinals have Vladdy Jr. Oh, boy. Vladdy Jr., Norman Goldman, Wilson... Goldman. Norlin Gorman, Wilson Contreras. Scary middle of the lineup. Hopefully we can keep the hot streak going. I have not played since I recorded last episode, which was probably about a month or so ago. Maybe a little less. Back here in St. Louis. So we'll see how this and goes. And on the hill in this one, Mark Pryor. Cedric having Mullen's a pretty up. ridiculous season so off. far, singing. Yeah, you see there with the sub-2 ERA, very dependent. Oh, sorry. I just realized I had the game volume very high. Running fastball caught a lot more of the plate than I wanted. 1-2. Let's go with the trusty circle change. Strike three. All right, Jordan Walker up. He's batting 265 on the season. Better average than Cedric Mullins. Oh, that was... I completely messed up the release point there. He fouls it off, though. Uh, hanging a lot of pitches in the middle. I got to get... I haven't played this game, like I said, in a while, so... Got to get the release point. There we go. Got the release point. Just missed. Did not get him to swing at it. Going to try running fastball in on the hands here. Fouls it off. Going to try a curveball here on one and two. Strike three called. Perfect. Right on the low and away corner. Here comes Vladdy. 355 average to start this season for him. Going to rely on off-speed pitches versus Vladdy. He's not someone that I particularly want to go after and attack. Two and one count after that slider misses. All right, now seems like a good time. I've shown him off speed for the first four pitches. Go with the fastball up and in. Do not get him to chase. There we go. Get him to ground that one foul. I thought that was grounded to the third baseman off contact. And walked him. Gorman, second scariest batter in this lineup, but I trust myself versus him. He's got 94 power, but only 62 contact. There we go. Chopper to the second. Get the ground out. Get out of the inning. I am fine with walking Vladdy. Didn't come back to bite me. Vladdy is a very, very scary hitter. Alright, Wilson Contreras. There we go. Start things off with a strike. 73 power, 65 contact. Not a slouch by any means at the plate. Grounds it back to me. I will happily take that. That one was had single up the middle written all over it. Wilmer Flores. He's someone who I think of as more of a contact defense guy. 69 power, 62 contact. So I guess I was wrong. There we go. Quick 0-2 count to him. Oh, slider way off the plate there. Slider was such a good strikeout pitch for us. But it has not been very consistent this season. Two gone. Alec Burrell sit up now, only batting 216 on the season. Caught a lot more of the plate than I would have wanted, especially since I got the release point perfect. He's got 68 power too. So quite a bit of pop in this lineup. That one should go foul. Will he catch it? He does. Wow, I was not expecting him to range over and field that one. Luis Orius. 
Swing and miss on the first pitch changeup. Ooh, that was a great slider right on the corner. Oh, close. Do not get him to swing at it. Do not get the called strike. Pitch count is not too great here in this start. I normally like to be closer to 10 pitches per inning. I'm already up above 30 with no outs in the third. That should be an easy ground out. Out number one. Paul DeYoung only batting 137. Wow. Oh, come on. It's Paul DeYoung attack the zone. 75 power. So yeah, a lot of pop top to bottom is getting to swing at a bad pitch there. He's only got 36 contact versus righty, so... As long as I don't hang a pitch, I think I'm fine. Can I throw a good slider, please? No, I cannot. Slider has been absolutely abysmal. 3-2 count, which I do not want to walk Paul DeYoung. There we go. Routine fly out. As my cat knocks over my drink. Luckily it was in a cup holder. Alright, Cedric Mullins back up. I struck out the first two batters of the game. Then no strikeouts the rest of the way through the lineup. 114 career home runs. I didn't realize Cedric Mullins had power like that. Why is my cat bugging? Get there, get there. Thank you. Come on, run support. No. Jordan Walker up now. 40 pitches through three innings. That's going to be the first hit of the game. Jordan Walker puts bat on ball up the middle. And now comes Vladdy. The last thing I want is a base runner on for Vladdy. 94 contact. 89 power. 89 plate vision. Chopper to second. Get the force out of second, but will not get the double plays. That was hit way too slowly. Gorman up now. If you've been watching the series, you know that pitches low in the strike zone, especially fastballs low in the zone, have never worked out well. I just cannot throw them for strikes for some reason. And 3-0 count here to Gorman. I cannot throw anything over the plate. Yeah. I can throw the fastball high in the zone with no problem, but as I say that he misses by five fucking miles, walks him. Man, even when I'm getting the release point perfect, it's not ending up anywhere near where I want it. I guess Alan is only good, not perfect, but... Grounder to first, diving play there, and a horrible, horrible throw. Awful throw, throwing error. Now Wilmer Flores is up with the bases juice. We, sh I don't think that one would have been an ending-ending double play, but should at least have two outs here, but the throwing error fucked us, and we cannot hit the zone. I don't know what happened to our control this inning, but it's gone. The control is just out the window. 54 pitches in the game, still only one out in the inning. That was a good slider. Oh no, that's going to be a sacrifice fly. Lucky it wasn't more. That error fucked us. That should have been out number three. My question is, since there was an error, was that an earned run? That Really? That was an earned run? That should have been out number three. I don't know how earned runs work, I guess, because that... Since there was an error, I don't think that one should have been an earned run. And what the hell, third baseman? Make that play. That's going to score at least one. Maybe. No, that'll score two. Three to nothing. Should have had a shutout inning, but the error by the first baseman. And I think two of those are earned runs. Hell no, though. No, that's not three earned runs. Fuck you, game. There was an error. An error means that's unearned. 
at most that should be two earned runs because the runner on second should have been thrown out. So we have three earned runs against us because of an error. That's going to get us at the loss because we have not been able to do anything offensively. God, I'm salty as hell about that E1. Should have had a shutout inning. Should have had a shutout inning. Air, throwing error by the first baseman plus the third. Throwing error by the first baseman. Plus a line drive to the third baseman that he just wasn't able to put the glove on. Just bad fielding fucked us. And we've had, historically, since we've made it to the majors, we've had really good run support. But we're not doing a damn thing offensively this game. Our location has been off this start, so I definitely wasn't expecting a shutdown start. But man, worst start of the season. Assuming we can get through the 5th and the 6th without allowing any more runs, we're still in line for a quality start. Which, getting a quality start every time out is my goal. As that one hung right down the middle. Five innings in the books. Please, for the love of God, Tampa, get us some run support. I just want to record an out. Okay, to get us one run, 69. Nice. Pitches through five. That changeup was awful. Oh man, can we actually get a strikeout here? Oh, close, close, close pitch. Nope, single up the middle. Line drive up the middle. Vladdy Jr. Again, he was the batter that I knew would be a struggle this start. He's far and away. Far and away the best hit in this lineup. Strike one, beautiful. If I can get Nor Nolan Gorman to get out here, I'll be. I think I'm pretty much set. Given I thought that last time through the lineup, but uh, they ended up scoring three fucking runs because of awful fielding. Wow, our pitch location is just absolutely horrendous this start. 77 pitches now. Our pitch location is non-existent. Is that only our third strikeout? Fifth, okay. Wilson Contreras has two ground outs in the game so far. If I can get him to ground out again here, that would be ideal. Wilson Contreras is definitely a double play candidate. Strike three. Wilmer Flores up. Flores, I think he's the one who hit the sacrifice fly last time up. Just give me this last out. Give me the quality start. And pray the Tampa can come through offensively for us, or otherwise we're getting our first loss of the season. As he hits that one, a hard foul, hanging curveball. Man, they are not chasing anything as... It doesn't matter if it's a borderline pitch. They're not fucking swinging. Three and two count here. Here comes pitch number 90. Thank you. Ground out. Out of the inning. We get the quality start. We get the loss, though. 7-1. to one. The bullpen did fucking awful. Jesus Christ. Six innings, three hits, three runs, six strikeouts, two walks. It was just the one bad inning. The one inning where the first baseman fucked us. The fourth inning. We allowed three runs, two hits, and a walk. One of the hits should have been a line out to the third baseman. There was a, there was a reach on an error. Oh, that sucks. ERA still only 187. Go ahead and simulate through to the next star, which I think will be versus the Padres. Increase our hits per nine, please. Mm 
Yep, our next star will be versus Zach Luttrell with a 6.69. Nice ERA. So, on paper, we have a big advantage against this Padres team on the pitching matchup, even though they are, wow. How, he's 1-1 one one with a 6.69 ERA. 